game is called The Race for Risk Reduction and it's a card game that is quite fast paced. It creates a lot of energy and excitement in the group. This game has two objectives. The one is how we're dealing with pressure and time pressure specifically when we are making decisions. And the other one is how do we communicate with those who are in a decision making position. What you need for this game is a deck of cards. A deck of cards that consists of cards that have symbols in different colors and different numbers on the card. So, like this one has symbols, number one to five. This one has flags, trees, houses, and color green, blue, purple, red, and so on. You also need a cardboard like this. First of all, you ask the group to split into two teams. Then you explain that each of the two groups are a country that is working together to make optimal use of using possibilities and opportunities that present themselves. Some they may use and others they are there but they are not able to access them. So you do a trial run, you put out the cards and you say these are the opportunities out there, but the only ones that you may use are the ones that have one thing in common with the card that is on this card here. In this, card, in this case, it's two red diamonds. So any card can be picked up that is either a two or red or has a shape of diamonds. For each card, that the groups are taking, you will get the number of cards and points. But if you take a card that does not match, you will lose all your points, you will get zero. Mm. When you're ready, you play a trial round, just so people can get a feel for what it looks like. And the delegate from each group has to take, without violence, a card that matches one of these symbols. So, which would that be? Five, five, color black, and then you play four rounds. The one is a round which has ten cards open. The next one is a round that has very little opportunity, and you can say you're in a village. You really want to make use of the opportunities, but you do not know what the opportunities. You, you, you're very unresourced, you're very vulnerable, you're not really able to use the opportunities, and you only place three cards here. You'll use new ones, and also there, you turn over one card, and if it's a matching card, you may take. And if there is no match, it maybe means that this particular year, there were no opportunities to actually prepare for disasters and to reduce risk. Sometimes when we're dealing with disasters, they are not so predictable. Sometimes there are a lot of opportunities, sometimes there are fewer. Ready, steady, and go. <coughs> you have 12, you have 13, is that right? Mm -hmm. The third round is a round with a lot of opportunity. You use 20 cards on a table. All right, quite a lot of opportunities here. It's quite a good time. Quite a lovely environment. Are you ready? Anna, Kabamba, are you ready? Is that a yes? Ready, steady, and go two green houses. No touching, no touching, guys. Okay, so let's see. These are left over. And the fourth round is the one where you use all the cards but one. You keep the last card to be turned over here and place all of the cards throughout the room in different places. And you say, this particular situation, there are a lot of opportunities, but there are in very spatially remote areas that you need to go and look and explore.
Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Are you ready? Ready, steady, and it is two red diamonds. You can reflect on the strategy that the groups have used in communicating with each other, in making decisions under pressure, and reflect on how that relates to practice in disaster risk reduction. Think about you are responsible to have to respond to a crisis. What is your learning from this game? If you had to respond to a crisis, if you are working for the Red Cross, what would you recommend? how the team should react or prepare under crisis, especially when it's a complicated crisis like the last one. Any recommendations? What is important <coughs> you, when you are under crisis, you should just be calm and focused and maybe teamwork, because sometimes you as a person alone can't get to everything, so we, we have a team, everybody can have a part. I felt a little bit withdrawn, and then kind of stayed behind. When there is a crisis, we all have a different way of responding. And, and I think what Chenin said earlier, and what Marcus said right at the beginning, mm. how can we make it in a way that we can plan calmly and, and really, in a meaningful way, engage all the team members in a concerted effort? <laughs>